Good morning, boys and girls. How is everybody? Look what I stumbled upon while I was hiking this morning. I think it is Sleeping Beauty's Tower in the background. Check this out. Do you see how beautiful it is? And the stairs are going up. So I would love to read this story for you, just so we can all refresh our memory how the story goes. Are you ready? Okay, Sleeping Beauty. On the occasion of their first baby's birth, a king and a queen invited six good fairies to a party. They forgot to invite the seventh fairy. At the party, the fairies began to give gifts to the princess. The first wished her wisdom, the second a kind heart, the third great beauty. And so it went up through the fifth fairy with each one offering a gift to assure the princess a happy life. Suddenly, the door to the castle flew open and it was a seventh fairy and she was furious. Now I will give my gift to the princess, she said. When she is 15 years old, she will prick her finger on a spinning wheel and fall down dead. Then the angry fairy stormed out of the room. The king and queen were terribly upset. But then the sixth fairy who was the youngest of all, stepped forward. I have not given yet my gift, she said. I cannot change the wicked curse, but I can soften it. The princess will not die, but instead she will fall into a deep, deep sleep. She will awaken only when her true love kisses her. The king was grateful to, young, to the young fairy, but still worried trying to avoid the curse he decided that every spinning wheel in the kingdom to be burned in a great fire many years passed and just as the good fairies wished the princess grew to be kind and smart and beautiful the wicked curse was all but forgotten on the day she turned 15 the princess decided to explore the castle coming to a tower she'd never seen before. I think it's this one. She climbed its winding staircase and opened the door to the top. Inside was a woman sitting at a spinning wheel. The princess didn't know it, but the woman was the wicked with the fairy in disguise. What are you doing? asked the princess. She had never seen a spinning wheel since they had been all burned. I'm spinning flax into thread, said the woman, smiling. Would you like to try? The princess sat down at the spinning wheel, but no sooner had she touched it than she pricked her finger on the sharp spindle. Instantly, she fell into a deep sleep. I wonder if she's still sleeping up there. In fact, the angry fairy spell was so strong that dogs stopped barking, flies stopped buzzing, and curtains stopped flapping in the breeze. The king and queen and every creature in the castle fell asleep. A tangled hedge of thorns grew on the castle walls, so thick that no one could enter. And then one day, a hundred years later, a prince came riding by. Although many men had tried and failed to fight their way through the hedge, this prince was special. He was beauty's true love. As he approached the hedge, its branches parted and he rode straight to the castle. Everywhere he looked, he saw people and animals fast asleep. He tiptoed among them until finally he found a sleeping princess in the tower. He thought she was so beautiful that he leaned over and kissed her cheek. And just like that, the spell was broken. Opening her eyes, the princess said, I dreamt you would come. Then she took his hand and they came down from the tower to find the whole kingdom waking up. The king and the queen were so overjoyed that they planned a great feast to at least celebrate or at last celebrate the princess 16th birthday. And this time they made sure to invite every single fairy in the wood the end. Now I think we should go and see if she's up there. Okay, let's follow me. I'll be right back.